I got a pulled pork sandwich. That looks real good. Oh my gosh. A little bit sweet too, which I love. This is a really, really nice wine. Come on in. We are going to give you a tour of this cabin in the woods. Good morning. Good morning, world. Hello. Greetings from Tatamagoosh. Greetings, yes. We have come to Tatamagoosh. Apparently the name means meeting of the waters. So here we are. We're going to be spending the day here. So it's what, a 15 minute drive from our, our rural little cabin? I yeah. Say. I have been loving the cabin we're staying in. We're right in the woods. Yeah. And yet the town is just a short drive away. Yeah. It's the best of both worlds. We get yeah. the, the rural experience where we're staying. And then we also have the services of a cute little town nearby. Mm -hmm. And there's quite a bit to do here. There's a creamery yes. to visit. There's a brew house to visit. Mm -hmm. There's also, what was the other? thing there's something there's else. a winery you want to visit Let's oh the winery forget. yeah the winery, the winery which is but that's not in this town that's yeah. that's continuing north but the, yeah. the main thing is that there's a train that you can stay overnight in and yes. also potentially have a meal and also where we're staying we're close to an old grist mill mm -hmm. a provincial park there's a maple farm a maple sugar farm where you can buy maple products it's amazing. There's just so much to do in and around this area. So, yeah. I mean, we're just going to try and see and do as much as we can today. Also enjoy our cabin experience too. Mm -hmm. So it's best of both worlds. walk down to the Creamery Square Heritage Society. Lots to do here. We're just visiting on the wrong day, it would appear. Yeah. So basically here you have a farmer's market. On Saturdays. On Saturdays, mm -hmm. there's the Creamery building. There's a general store. General store. And an art center. Art center, and there's a bandstand where apparently they put on performances and you can listen to music. Yeah. Now, all of the buildings have very different schedules, but it seems like Saturday is the day to be here. Yeah. So if you visit Tata Magoosh, make it on a weekend because it just looks super cool. Like it I'd is. love to go into these buildings and just browse through the different vendors, the shops. Yeah, I agree. Even though even though we couldn't go inside, it was just yeah. fascinating to walk down here and take pictures. Yeah, also it's it's at a great location, like just meters away from the river. So and it is a windy day. Let's acknowledge yeah. the wind. Let's acknowledge the wind. Hello. Hello, wind. the day we're on the trans canada trail we are who would have thought that that is amazing i mean that's the national trail line it's, i know it's enormous coast to coast exactly this is a great little trail and as you can see by this train sign we're just moments away from being at the train accommodation and restaurant mm -hmm. so i mean it's going to be awesome we're hoping to have lunch there hoping it's open fingers crossed <laughs> well, I don't want to be 0 for 2 this morning, but um, this is a wonderful trail. Great for, for walking, also great for biking. We've seen a lot of people using it. We saw someone walking their dog. We also saw people on their bikes. And so, yeah. Question for you, would you ever bike the Trans-Canada Trail? Or a portion yeah, I'd, of it? I'd love to, and my dad would enjoy that even more. He's more of a biker than me, so that would be an awesome trip. Oh, that could be a future yeah. father-son I mean, trip. You'd, you'd need to budget. <laughs> You need to budget like probably half a year for that. Start in the spring, finish in the fall, right?
so we came to the train station we're not able to dine in the wagons at the moment but they have a lovely outdoor seating area so we got some food from takeout i got the fish cakes ooh, ooh, ooh. how do those look looks real good let's see i'm gonna check those out yum oh wow oh wow and you got uh chips and salsa yeah homemade chips and salsa on the side oh you get a little bun Oh. It looks like a little scone. Yum, and yum, you, yum. you ended up getting... Oh, you got the beans. You got the maple beans. Oh, maple wow. syrup beans. Oh, that looks real good. Oh my gosh. And I got a pulled pork sandwich. How's that look? Another impressive looking meal. That's a bit of coleslaw, some chips and salsa. Yum. Fantastic looking lunch, huh? Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that looks awesome, Just man. Just look at it. Oh. Looks so good. Comfort food here at the mm. train station, huh? Mm -hmm. Gotta love that. Mm, so good. Is it? Mm-hmm. What kind of a sauce is it? Sweet barbecue. Oh, yum. Look yeah. at that. Feels perfect. Ta -da. With, feels perfect with a, that kind of a sandwich, huh? Mm. Oh, yeah? Oh, that is garlicky. Is it? Mm-hmm. Wow. A raw garlic, my friends. Nothing this, better. This is just an amazing experience, like Tatamagoosh, oh. guys. Sam and I are already talking about how we need to come back and book a night on the train. We seriously I don't do. know why we didn't do that. We'll, we'll literally do that sometime. Yeah. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Next It'll time be one of the most unique stays we'll have ever had. For so. sure. For sure. Mm. Super pumped to try this meal. I mean, one of the my favorite foods in the Maritimes, and this dates back to my childhood when my grandmother used to make me homemade beans, often made with maple or molasses they are just <laughs> i'd rather have that than a dessert they're so sweet and delicious and so for us to have homemade maple beans is fantastic but before i try those i'm going to try the main thing that we ordered here which is the fish cakes so it's potato fish and parsley flakes and i have a feeling you're meant to dip it into this it's kind of like a chutney isn't it look at that mm. it's really has a nice soft texture to it in your mouth really tasty what I'm most interested in is trying these maple beans. Look at these guys. I'm going to stir that around for you just to see how thick that is. I think it's that's probably one of the most Canadian dishes ever. Beans and ever, maple syrup. Ever. Yeah. Oh, pure maple syrup in there. I'd rather have this than a slice of cheesecake. That's how good it is. Whoa. To me, it tastes like a dessert even though it's um, it's served with the, the main portion of a meal. It's just so sweet and I mean, it's also salted too. It just checks off so many boxes. Ultimate comfort food, in my opinion. What a lunch. Just love the setting. The food was fantastic. And yeah, just where we ended up parking, we were kind of on the opposite end of the town. So we were able to walk along the main street and we noticed some really cool places. We're honestly not gonna have time to visit because we still wanna go to the winery. We wanna go hiking and we wanna go to maybe some mills and maybe the, the maple syrup production place. But what we did notice was there was a Mario pizza place. There was also a chocolatier, some artisanal ice cream and the chowder house. Who could forget the chowder house? So plenty to do. In this town, we've just got an afternoon to do all the stuff we still want to do. vineyards and we're doing a little wine tasting here you can try three different wines for free 
Um, I'm going for all whites. Sam's going to be doing all, all reds. reds. And As then we're going to choose our favorites, get a bottle for my dad, one yeah, for, for Sam's dad. Yeah. And yeah, so right now I'm trying the Pinot Grigio. Cheers. That's good. That's very light. I like that. That type of wine. Yeah. All right. Number two. Going for another white. Title day. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I get a bit of a like a pear aroma. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this fruity. is the one I tried in Halifax at uh, one of the restaurants. Uh, I don't remember which one anymore. Maybe the bicycle thief? That's the one. Maybe? Yeah. It was very that's where, good. That's this where you is had it. one of my all time favorites. Last but not least. Last but not least, number three, Selkie. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I do feel the bubbles on this one. Yeah, a little bit more um, tropical. Do you have you a have favorite amongst the yeah. three? I think the last two. Oh yeah. Last two I've just tried. So this yeah, is Tidal Bay and Selkie. Tide for one. Maybe mm -hmm. even this one. Oh, nice. It just it smells like summer. Sweet and tropical. That's very good. I'm trying the Shiraz Cabernet. Yeah, I'm getting some blackberry notes and smoke. This would pair very nicely with the typical barbecues we love to have with your dad. <laughs> Next up is Lucy Coleman. This is a medium body red. Ooh, yes, that's much lighter. Um, a bit fruitier as well. It's really smooth. This is definitely something you'd pair with a, a bit of a lighter meal. I do like the Shiraz a bit more though. Number three. So next up, we've got the Great Red, and I love the slogan for it. It says, a barbecue find. And something interesting about this is that it's aged with maple wood chips. So I'm interested to see if I can detect that. It's full bodied, but it's a little bit sweet too, which I love. This is a really, really nice wine out of the three. My favorite, and I'm surprised that I like it more than the Shiraz. That's saying a lot. Right, we had a really fun wine tasting at yes. Yoast. Whoa! -ho -ho. Yeah, it was so good that we've decided to go and have an early supper there. Their cafe closed up at four. Yes. Uh, we're going to be there before four. So basically what we did, we did the wine tasting. We got three different bottles of wine and then we drove over to Blue Sea Beach Provincial Park mm -hmm. right here on the water, a five minute drive from the vineyard. We enjoyed a little walk. It was a little bit seaweedy. I've got to say lots of yeah. algae on the shore. I did find a few areas that I could walk mm -hmm. and I got my knee salty day without getting myself completely wet. Sam didn't wet his pants guys. Yeah I mean <laughs> yeah it seems to that was becoming a daily ritual what yes. I did I just like kneeled into the water this time instead of going out deeper <sighs> but anyways it was great oh. um it seems like every single day we find a way to walk along the beach mm -hmm. and that's what I love about Nova Scotia. It's so fascinating that you can be in a vineyard in one moment and then mm -hmm. like few minutes later down by the beach so on the beach but anyways now we are back in the car and we're going to return to Yost Vineyards to eat at their cafe the yeah. sea grape I'm gonna have a little wine with my oh, dinner I'm, I'm driving guys so none for me oh, well.
All right, from the vineyard to the brewery, here we are. Yeah, we weren't planning on coming here, but I walked by here and it just looked so awesome. And we actually saw a YouTube video about this place the other night. I'm like, I gotta come in here and have a beer and get a hat, of course, too. So we're currently at Tatamagouche Brewing, and yes. this place is set in a former butcher shop. That's right. They've been open for six years, and they've got a number of things on tap. Um, today I've gone for the red, so I'm gonna try that. Sure. Cheers. Oh, it's nice and refreshing. I mean, to be honest, it's quite humid today, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We thought it was going to be quite a bit cooler, but the temperature, even though it's overcast, it's very humid, so I'm thirsty. Um, this is just the perfect, perfect drink to be having at the end of the day. So many excellent craft breweries in Nova Scotia, as we've discovered, traveling, and distilleries too, I might add. So if you're visiting around Nova Scotia, be sure to check out well, obviously Tatamagouche Brewing Company, but also the other ones in, in local towns as well. It's been one of our favorite things to do. tour so come closer come on in we are going to give you a tour of this cabin in the woods here in Tatamagush we've been staying about 15 minutes outside of town we are surrounded by forest we've been told that bears skunks foxes all sorts of animals roam <laughs> here so yes we are in the wilderness and we found a really cozy space very woodsy so come on in we've booked this place for two nights already slept here yesterday we have one more night ahead of us and first of all voila welcome to the bedroom first thing that caught my attention the fairy lights i think that's a very very nice touch we'll close the door so it's not so echoey for you <laughs> but yeah pretty cool space don't you think yeah i love it look at the wood paneling everywhere yes it's awesome it's an all wood interior it just feels very homey rustic cozy and check out the cool art in the corner lots of cool art yeah so we've got <laughs> a map from burkina faso uh -huh. i'm guessing our host has spent some time in west africa there's lots of artwork you're going to notice it throughout the cabin but some very cool paintings here oh this i really like it's a turtle lamp oh <laughs> that's our turtle lamp that we have here um then on this side we've got our little living area it's more of like a, a futon turns into additional sleeping space if you need it yeah lots of pillows extra blankets one really cool thing about this cabin yeah check out the stove that's amazing huh it serves two purposes like it'll warm up the space in the winter time um, but you can also cook with it if you feel Should like show the different back. components where there's stones sure. inside come on in so this is where you would do your baking there's stones inside yes oh, yeah. i ch okay i tried explaining to sam when it's cold because these are stories i've heard from my dad <laughs> but it, when it was cold back in the day they used to put bricks in the oven warm them up then wrap them in newspaper and stick them in the bed at your feet kind of like a hot water bottle but using bricks and here, I noticed they have these giant stones, so it made me wonder, maybe they stick them in the oven, warm them <laughs> up, and then, you know, hey, tuck them not? in bed. And look, but Sam doesn't believe me. Oh, well, you know, that <laughs> seems like a bit of a tall tale. No, yeah. you're probably right, though. So, yeah, it's not very often you get to see one of these. This is quite the collectible, and it's from Elmira, Ontario. Oh. -ho. So, there you go. It's not that far from us. Nice. Maybe we'll get one of those. Someday. Maybe. Maybe, you know? Yeah. Dining area. This is where we had our breakfast this morning, some oatmeal. Then we have this other little cooking station. We don't have an actual electric stove, Yeah. but we do have this element. Um, so yeah, if we wanted yeah. to cook, we've just been going out to restaurants, let's be honest. Big retro microwave. Microwave. That That's huge. Yep. 
Um, over in this corner, we've got a bit of a book collection happening. I love the books they have. And I thought you would like Ooh, this one here. Look at this. Wait, the wait. Birds of Nova Scotia. Wood stove cookery. No way. Yeah, and look on the cover. They have the old wood stove. Oh, that's so So if you want to cool. try recipes, give waffles, us, give us fried a, chicken. Oh, toffee bar. That. I saw toffee bars. Look at And the that. one I thought you might like was this one here, the Birds, Birds of, Nova of Nova Scotia. Birds of Nova Scotia, yes. Yeah. Sam knows I'm a bit of a bird enthusiast. Yeah. I'm always looking for birds. And one level up. Show us what we got there. A oh, lamp. a very cool lantern. Yes. And candies. Most importantly, it says one treat a day. Enjoy. Let's see. And there's all kinds of chocolates, candies, toffees. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, that's very nice of them. It would take a take some discipline to limit yourself to one, huh? One a day. Can you limit yourself <laughs> to one a day? Probably not. I'd probably clear that what pretty quick. What is the question? Yeah. And then we have a super spacious kitchen. Yeah. Like I said, we haven't been cooking because <laughs> we've been visiting wineries, breweries, breweries different eateries. Yeah, so we've been yeah. eating and drinking and being very merry. <laughs> but if we wanted to cook, look. Lots Check out that knives. knife set. Coffee. Is, it's like a magnetic strip. That's so cool. Oh, and now it doesn't want to stick. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Demagnetized. Ah, Demagnetized. Yeah, they left us like coffee, sugar, lots of tea, coffee maker, kettle, everything you could possibly need. And yeah, more counter space where we've just dumped our computers. Yeah. So that's kind of the main space, but then we have the bathroom on the other side. It's the bathroom. Did Sam put away his underwear that he uh, up by hand? I did, but I think you, you did a good job of filming it to embarrass me. So. Welcome to the bathroom. Yep. Come on in. It's in. quite spacious than the tiny house bathrooms we've had recently. Yep. Um, so yeah, walk-in shower, mm -hmm. hot water. We haven't been using baby wipes like we normally do. What a change. Drastic change. Nice. Sink, Sink. mirror. We have our toilet with a very cool cover. It's all like blue glass and seashells. Let's take a look at that. It sure is, it sure is, wow. And we're on a septic tank, so yes. gotta be extra careful what you put down there. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of the main living space. And then we do have like little, is it a porch? What is it? Yeah, it's a porch. Like a sunroom? It's a, a sunroom. Sun, it's a sunroom. It's a maritime sunroom. Maritime sunroom. Okay. Yes. This is so typical. We're going to ignore the mess. We kind of have going on exploding suitcases. You can't actually see it too bad. There's still a little mess on the on, no, on there. No. no, don't look. And dirty laundry. But um, yep. yeah, a lovely seating area so that you can enjoy the space even during the cooler months. Lots of windows so yeah. the heat would come in, warm up the place. Yeah. So what did you think of the outside part of the property? It, you know, it's very rural. Like mm -hmm. I feel very isolated and very far away from my neighbors. It feels very quiet, very peaceful. So this is a very cool, cozy cabin in the forest cabin here in, in Canada, forest. right? Yes. yes. So it's been good. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Yes. Oh, and it's on Airbnb. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah. I think I normally do, but if you want to find it, we'll put a link to it. For sure. It's a really good price. Yes. morning guys it is the next day we are returning to new brunswick but before we begin the long drive over we thought we would visit a few more attractions that are kind of along the way and right now we have stopped at the balmoral mill this is a grist mill where they used to grind you know grains to make flour yeah. that type of deal what an idyllic spot yes i mean this is a slice of paradise especially with the light shining on the mill yes. it's reflecting in the water almost as beautifully as it is on the building. Mm -hmm. It's amazing at the moment, yeah. It's a nice little spot and it's very quiet. There's no one else around. No, there isn't. Just I'm, the two just, of just us. Just us at the moment, yeah. Yes. And I am wearing the same shirt again. Oh East Coast lifestyle. Hey, we're, we're getting a low on la little low on laundry after two weeks on the road, yep. huh? Yeah, that's the truth.
Well, that's the end of our road trip here in Nova Scotia, isn't it? That concludes two weeks road tripping across Nova Scotia. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We really had a fun time getting to know this province. Yeah, honestly, I think this might be the most livable province in all of Canada. There's affordability. I mean, obviously outside of Halifax, there's affordability. Mm -hmm. There's nature. You're never far from either the beach or a lake, rivers. I mean, you could just come here and if you're into nature, this mm -hmm. is the province to be, isn't it? Yeah, so it's been a lot of fun for us. We hope you guys will enjoy the videos. And of course, we're going to keep filming our adventures around Canada. We've got yep. a few little trips brewing, so we'll let oh, yeah. you know soon enough where we're heading. And exactly. You're invited to come along. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in episode real soon. Bye-bye.